Welcome back to that dad guy. I've got a few things to do today. Today is April the 5th, 2022. And I thought maybe you'd want to come along. Let's go see what we can find. All right, my first stop's actually gonna go see my parents. But after that, we're gonna go uh, see if we'll find some postcards and maybe even some stamps. We'll see what's up there. Thought maybe you'd enjoy a quick little drive here. See some houses still have some snow. The ones and all these trees here, of course, are blocking the sun from getting all the snow melted on this side. But the other side of the road is looking pretty good. All right, visit done with my folks. Now we can do a little shopping and see what's out there tell you that dementia and that disease is not something that's fun and both my parents have earlier stages of it and uh, they get some confusion and difficulties from time to time which is unfortunate but uh, today is one of those days where they're it's not a good day with them and uh, feeling a bit confused but so hopefully it's straightened out now it's lunchtime there now so I thought I'd head off while they were having their lunch I to show you something here. Are they still there? You can see this trailer and the water under it. Can you see the ducks? I thought it was funny that they were just sitting over there in the water got to be bigger ponds of water that they could hang out in. All right, let's get back in the car and go somewhere. All right, so this is going to be my first stop. It's a boutique called Passage. Uh, you can see the art mural on the side of the building. We have a festival every year that paints images on buildings, and this is one of the buildings that got painted a few years ago now. But I did find a couple cards in there. Let me show you. I decided not to try to film inside. They probably would have let me. I didn't ask the question. It has a very strong incense smell to it. Uh, they sell lots of meditation type things in here. And uh, the reason I decided to pick it was because they did some local artist stuff. So I got this card a little bit more expensive than I would normally. But it's a local artist from Rexton. And uh, here's the first one. So you have this moose rendering. Uh, very very cool I really like it and we have this one a more native art style so this is painting by Friends United Artists Fancy Peter Paul and uh, the catch his address there so it focuses on that I'll read it out too it's Fancy uh, slash peterpaul.ca is the website for their artwork. All right, let's go find something else. So if you're into camping or hiking or hunting and fishing, uh, this might be the store for you. But if you're into postcards and post crossing, apparently they don't carry any postcards. So that was a, a bust. Anyways, we'll try somewhere else. All right, so my next stop was Chapters Bookstore or Indigo Bookstore, and I'll show you what I got. I found Dungeons and Dragons postcards. There's 100 postcards, 50 different images. Uh, I get a chance to open that up maybe when I get home and show you a few of them. But I thought that'd be kind of cool. Something for our nerdy friends and uh, something for people like dragons and uh, sh should be able to fit a whole bunch of different realms of uh, people's interests. So the next stop, we're back at the Great Canadian Dollar Store. I always have uh, success finding local postcards here. Now, sometimes they're always the same type, but uh, people seem to enjoy some of those. So let me show you what I got. So first off, we have this one here. It shows all the images of local places in New Brunswick with the Canadian or New Brunswick flag. So we got two of those. I got this one here, map postcard. It shows you the province, shows you some of the uh, towns around and some of the things they're famous for. And then I got the Confederation Bridge. This is the bridge that links New Brunswick to Prince Edward Island. Another view postcard of New Brunswick attractions. And finally, a New Brunswick flag postcard. All right, let's go to the grocery store. Not that I need any groceries, but people uh, wanted to know what bagged milk was. 
does. So let's uh, let's show you what bag milk is here at Sophie's, which is a New Brunswick grocery store, well, a maritime grocery store out of Nova Scotia. So if you've never been in a Sobeys, this is what it looks like. You've got your fruit and vegetable department. You have a bakery on this side. And let's see if we can find some bag milk. Oh, there's your maple products. So we get maple syrup. You can get it in a can or in the traditional bottle. You can get uh, maple spread. You can get maple sugar in a powder form. Yeah, you can get maple cookies. My wife really likes the maple cream and the maple butter. And there you've got some maple fudge. And there's even maple uh, fake pastries. Yeah, everything maple this time of year. Well, let's wander around. There are arrows on the floor. I'll tell you which direction you should be going. And if you notice, I'm going the wrong way. They were more pandemic times when that was used. Now it's a free-for-all. We'll go buy all these sections here. We don't really need anything in here. We'll avoid a few people. And hopefully when I get down to the milk section, here's some retro Pepsi cases. So if you're a child of the 80s, you may remember that. All right, we're in the milk section. So you can get milk in cartons like normal. But if you look at the bottom, there's bag milk. So it comes like this. You get three bags in a bag. And you get all the different versions, whether it's skim or homogenized or partly skimmed. We buy it in, in the cartons, but you can get it in the plastic jugs. And my favorite way to get it is in a glass bottle, but you don't see that very often. Uh, let's go up here. We want, what do we want? Ice cream, we're in the water section. What else might you not know about? Our juice section. Chips. And chocolate bars. Coffee crisp, very Canadian. Kit Kats, arrows. In Canada, we have Ketchup chips, and final, and old Dutch ketchup, roast chicken. <laughs> try not to, or try to avoid people. Some people probably don't want to be on camera. Coca-Cola, ice cream. I don't know, you may see something. Cadbury, I was talking to Sky Eskia, and she hadn't heard of Cadbury, but uh, it is uh, British chocolate. Here, candy, I've got some Sour Patch Kids that are flavored like pop. here and it's nearly Easter time so you got mini eggs Cadbury bars and Nelson's chocolate yeah all sorts of chocolates we have the alcohol section of the grocery store which is new within the last few years I'll look over here at Easter candy I got lint bunnies we have the two different flavored lint bunnies to choose from. And now see candy, Ferrero Rocher, and oh, Terry's chocolate oranges. Let's see. For those that like Kinder, there's a giant Kinder surprise. 
M&M's. My wife's favorite, Cadbury eggs. They're sour Patch. These are uh, red and white ones. They were for Canada Day. So they're leftovers, apparently, because Canada Day was in July. There's some more Kinder in a different variety. And there, Reese eggs. Reese peanut butter cups are my favorite. So, yeah. It gives you a, a view of what's happening up there. Here's a couple more cards. We have a moose. And we've got a lighthouse and some history of lighthouse. We have a history of moose. And we have some fishermen. Yeah, let's go find some other stuff. All right, now I think we're gonna go home and uh, get something to eat and then maybe put this video together. I'll show you, I'll open up the uh, Dungeons and Dragons cards and show you a few of what those ones look like. I'm curious to see what they look like myself. So I'll have a little bit of drive back here. I'm not gonna do stamps today as far as uh, buy any new stamps, even though I do need some soon, because on uh, Thursday the 7th, we have a new issue coming out. So I might as well wait till Thursday and then buy uh, some of the new issues so you can see what those look like. So for now, we'll just drive home and uh, put a video together. So we'll see you at the house. I've made it home from all my travels. We've been to uh, one end to the other side of town looking for some new and interesting postcards. Uh, we did find some of the usual suspects, which I showed you that we got from the Great Canadian Dollar Store. Uh, we got my art postcards from Passage, and uh, these might be my favorite. So they're going to be special ones to go out. Um, we'll take the right, right person for those ones for sure. Now, I want to show you the Dungeons and Dragons. I've opened it up, so it comes in a little box like this. And inside, you get 100 postcards. So these will take a while to get going through. Uh, you're going to have examples like this. People like uh, dragons and just a standard postcard on the back. I'm not going to show you with them all, but I do want to show you some different ones. So... These are going to be for certain people that are into fantasy type things or uh, gaming type things or just bizarre type things. <laughs> there's some of that. Uh, I think there's some, some interesting ones too. Like if you're into the role playing game, there's a cover for uh, one of the games. And what else do we have here? We've got some magicians and their gold. We have some more kind of anime type, not anime I guess, but uh, cartoony-ish rather than uh, some realism type ones. And uh, those of you that are interested in maps and uh, for the D&D &D gaming boards, there's that sort of thing. Oh, there's just all sorts of stuff. It's just like concept art cards. And some people that are into the game may know exactly what they're looking at when they see that. Um, I know I can read the back of it and it'll tell me a bit about it too, but I'm not, like I said, I'm not gonna go through all 50. I, there's a hundred cards, but there's 50 different images. Things like that that look like they're from the TV show that are more cartoony than ones like, uh, oh, I don't know this one here <laughs> so yeah that's great so I think I'll be able to make use of those hundred cards and find great new homes for those for people that are into adventure gaming fantasy uh, knights dragons orcs what have you those two though I love these cards uh, they cost me a little bit more. I think these ones work to be about like 30 cents a card when you uh, break it all down. These ones are 63 cents a card. These ones are $5 a card. So these are going to be uh, special ones to go out. That being said, thanks for liking, subscribing, and commenting. And uh, yeah, you made it this far. 
If you're uh, still finding Ukrainian stamps, email me at robertlennox at gmail.com and I'll send you the address that you can send them to. If you already have my address, then go ahead and surprise me. Uh, buy up as many uh, Ukrainian stamps as you can find and uh, send them on this way and we'll show them off. Uh, people have been asking if I'm going to go back to uh, show the Canadian stamps. Yeah, I am. I'm, I stopped in 1982 showing you stamps. I'll continue showing those ones as well. Um, I took a hiatus showing Ukrainian stamps. I showed you some U.S. stamps that arrived as a gift yesterday. Um, so those of you that like stamps, there's stamp videos coming out. Um, I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to go to the post office probably on Thursday and buy a few new stamps. So I'll probably do a video up on uh, the new release that comes out. So that should be nice. Uh, what else do we have going on? Postcards coming in. I just got checked my mail. There's another one that came in. Uh, people are telling me to stop looking that way. I can tell you now exactly why when I'm not looking directly at the camera, what I'm looking at, I'm looking at my image. I've got my camera flipped around so I can see what's going on. I want to be able to see what you're seeing in the background, make sure it's all right. You can see in the window here, um, it's kind of blocked out because the camera's focusing on me and not on the outside. That's why I get a bit of a glare back. And uh, some people want to position the camera so you don't see that glare back. I want to show you that there's an outside world. I could go and click on that. You can see that there is no snow on my back deck. Go that way. Then we can click it back and you're back on me again. So that's it. That's it for today. I just wanted to bring you along. Hopefully, if you uh, saw something in the grocery store that you had questions about, you can leave me comments on that. Um, maybe there's a swap going on one day in the future and you say, oh, would you include one of those with it? Who knows? Anything is possible in this world today. Uh, let's just keep talking. Let's keep positive and uh, enjoying what's going on. If you haven't watched all my videos yet, go back and watch some of the other ones. Leave me some comments. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe if you like it. And uh, if you really like it, tell your friends about it too. All right, for now, stay safe. What Polo? You say like, subscribe, share, and tell all your friends. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy?